Should I wear this for the video or should I not? Because... <laughs> Santa hat uh, because why not so this time last year I did a little bit of a zero waste slash low impact gift guide and you guys seem to really like it and I've got a lot of questions in the last couple of weeks if I could do it again so here we are 2018 we are doing a gift guide for all of your low waste sustainable needs the way we're gonna do this video is because I have about a million and one ideas because I am that person who just once I get going on ideas like this I just will write lists and lists and lists of them so I have 10 different actual physical goods like something that you could wrap and put under the tree I have 10 different ideas for those and I have 10 different experience ideas that I'm gonna share with you in this video and then I have a whole list of more ideas that I will include in a blog post that I will link down below just in case any of these ideas don't work out for you especially if you have kids or families that you're gonna be buying for because I didn't include that in this video just because I know that I think most of my audience doesn't have kids but if you do I've thought of you and they're going to be in the blog post linked down below I also of course tried to keep everything that wasn't on my already existing wish list on my website because I have this whole wish list of like both the essentials that I use every day and the things that I've been wanting so that's all on my website which I'll link down below as well but just because I already put those ideas out in the universe I wanted to share other things so for physical goods the first idea that I have is, of course, my straws. I'm just gonna throw that in there, get this out of the way. If you want to support my channel and you also want to get some of your friends some sustainable swaps that they can bring with them to restaurants and avoid a single-use plastic straws, I have bamboo ones. So if you order within the next couple of days, I'm sure they'll be to you on time. And yeah, they're available on my website. I will link them down below. <laughs> my second idea is to get them an Elate Cosmetics gift card. Elate is a company that I found a while ago and they make all kinds of natural beauty and they have very sustainable packaging, especially for their pressed makeup, their foundations and bronzers and stuff like that. They're awesome. And they do have a gift card, so you can get them one of those and they can get some sustainable beauty. The third one, okay, this is something that I personally have had my eye on for so long, but I just can't justify spending the money on them for myself. It's one of those things that would just be a really nice gift for somebody else. There are these beautiful bowl covers that Food52 sells. They're really pricey because they're like these beautiful immaculate linen bowl covers. They're just so aesthetically pleasing and they're great to have in your kitchen so that you can use those instead of plastic wrap. There's also different budget ones that you can get that aren't quite as like aesthetically beautiful but they still get the job done. So if you want a small present those would be a really good idea and I will link both of those down below. As are all of these gifts by the Way, I will have them all in the description box so it's easy for you to get to them. The next one is some Osea skincare. You guys know I'm super obsessed with Osea. I use their ocean cleansing milk and their atmosphere protection cream. Like it's my job, I'm obsessed with them. They make really beautiful, again, a little bit pricier skincare so somebody might not be willing to spend that money on themselves. All of their ingredients are vegan and sustainably, sustainably harvest and produced and they have sustainable packaging as well. They come in these beautiful glass jars which of course you can recycle or upcycle them into something new. Or if you want to go down the budget route, you can also make them a little bit of DIY skincare. There are so many recipes on the internet, and a lot of them involve just using some of the ingredients that you have in your kitchen. And you can make a little gift basket of them all, and it'd be really cute. My next idea is this company called Wine Punts. I found this through a zero waste blog a while ago, and it's this company that upcycles old wine bottles, and they make them into all kinds of different things. They have these beautiful crafts. I love the little crafts that they make, but they also have different like canisters and glasses and all kinds of stuff. And I just think it's a really cool idea that they're taking waste and they're repurposing it into something else and adding to our circular economy. Yeah! My next idea are these DIY cleaning kits that I found. There's a company called Cleaning Essentials where they make glass spray bottles and they have all the measurements on the side of the bottle. So if you have a friend who you're trying to wean them off of using plastic and toxic chemical cleaning supplies, you can get them this and they can make their own stuff. They have no excuse because the recipes are literally written on the bottle and I just thought that was a really fun idea for people who maybe aren't outwardly seeking and like googling different recipes for natural cleaning products. It's a great alternative for them. My next 
idea is I found this brand through Instagram a while ago. There's this company called Happy Whole Foods and they make different adaptogenic mushroom blends and they sell them all in really sustainable glass packaging and it even comes with a cute little wooden spoon so that you can serve it through. For any of your friends who are always going out and trying the latest and greatest superfoods, I think that this is a really cool swap and it's something that I personally really want to try out at some point in the future because I'm one of those people who loves including different adaptogens in my life and I thought that this was a really good one for anybody who's a health nut in your life. My next idea is a good old house plant. Who can say no to a house plant? If somebody gave me a plant, I would be like, you get me, I love you, let's be friends forever. So, I mean, you just can't go wrong. You just can't. <laughs> Unless they have a history of killing all of their plants. So maybe think about that, but other than that, it's pretty hard to go wrong. Who doesn't like a good plant? Number nine is Pottery for the Planet. They're this company that makes these beautiful ceramic mugs. Unfortunately, they don't ship anywhere outside of Australia and New Zealand. So if you live over there, I definitely recommend them. They're just beautiful. They sell these travel mugs that are literally pieces of art and I really want one, but unfortunately I don't live over there. Having a travel mug for me has been one of the biggest sustainable swaps that I've made. I've eliminated so many cups from landfill. Even if you don't have access to this Pottery for the Planet brand, there are so many beautiful mug companies out there and maybe getting them a really nice travel mug would be a lovely idea. I just thought that I'd shine some spotlight on them because I want one so badly. And I'm sure some of your friends also have this thing for beautiful pottery, so I definitely think they're a great one for them. And number 10 is Dans Le Sac. Dans Le Sac is a company from Montreal, which is my hometown, and so I love supporting Montreal companies. They make these beautiful, kind of pricey, but like beautiful quality, different bags. So they make produce bags and bread bags and all kinds of stuff to help you avoid bringing plastic bags or using plastic bags at the grocery store or just in your everyday life. I just think they're a really nice gift because again, they're at a price Point where that person might not be wanting to spend that on themselves every single day and if there's somebody who eats food they're doing groceries and so getting them off of things like produce bags is a great swap for them okay on to experiences I actually think that I would rather get an experience as a gift because I feel like it's something that somebody put a lot more thought into and usually it's something that I can do with that person which I think is really special so my first idea is to have a DIY beauty day this idea actually came to me recently because I was hanging out with my cousins and her friends and she brought up how I always make my own DIY like hair care and body care and all of that stuff And she wanted my recipes and I was like Why don't I just come over and we'll make a day out of it and we'll make them together and I can show you how I use them And I think that that would be a really fun day to gift someone as well You could bring over the ingredients and make some really great simple products with them and show them how easy it is to make your own beauty stuff My next idea is to have an outdoor adventure day So whether that's taking them to the ski hill maybe out for some tubing or if you live in a warmer climate Maybe you're going zip lining or doing something fun like that. Just taking a day to get outside and bringing them to a really fun, adventurous activity. Number three is to give back. So thinking about whatever their favorite organizations or favorite causes are and you can donate to them. Things like different farm sanctuaries or environmental groups. I know I asked you guys for some recommendations for your favorite organizations on Instagram, so I'll include those in the entire gift guide blog post over on there. Number four, this is for any of your friends who love traveling, get them an Airbnb gift card. They'll be using it anyways and you gift them a really nice weekend away or night away somewhere or even just contributing to one of their nights away somewhere I think is a really nice idea. Number five is some quality food time. You can either make food with them, take them out to a restaurant, or maybe take them to a cooking class. Number six would be some active classes. So maybe you're going rock climbing, maybe it's a yoga class, a spinning class. For any of your friends who love exercise, exercise or who are looking to incorporate more exercise in their life, maybe doing it together would be a really fun day out. Number seven is for any of your friends who are a little bit stressed out, buying them a few days towards a meditation course might be really beneficial for them. Number eight is to help fund any of their memberships to something like Spotify or Apple Music, something that they're already using and buying every single day. You can say, hey, I got you. It's on me this month. You're welcome. <laughs> Number nine would be to go for a fun day out and do some wine tasting, or maybe you take them to a brewery. I know at least in the Pacific Northwest, Seattle specifically, that's a really fun activity that a lot of people like to do. I personally love going to wineries. I think it's a really fun day out. And I know a lot of micro breweries and wineries are popping up all over. So no matter where you live, even if you don't drink, it's always a fun time if that other person drinks. It's just, a fun day out. And number 10 would be taking them to a show or a concert that is happening around you. So that's it. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope you guys got some ideas. I'm really excited for the holiday season. My family doesn't actually really do gifts. We kind of decided last year, maybe the year before that, that we're just 
not there for it altogether. We kind of just like to hang out together. But there are still a few people in my life that I want to do something nice for them. So I'm definitely going to be taking a few of these ideas and incorporating them. Let me know which ones you guys are going to be incorporating. And of course, I will link the blog post with more ideas in the description box below. Of course, don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to embark on the sustainability journey with me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget, as always, that you can subscribe to my podcast, which goes out most sometimes every Monday. <laughs> you can subscribe to my email newsletter, which goes out every single Sunday. It's a nice self-care little thing that you can read every single week. You can find my exclusive self-care podcast over on my Patreon page. And as always, you can click this square button in the corner to snag some of my zero waste merch and support this channel. You can click this round button of my face to subscribe and never miss a video. And you can click right here to watch more because well, I hope you want to. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Remember to stay happy, humble, and forever compassionate. And I love you guys so, so much. Bye!